Hello, I'm Tim, the Woodworking Maniac. Today, I made a TIE Fighter desk clock. I think it came out pretty cool. Check out how I made it. I started off on the scroll saw with four 16th inch thick birch plywood pieces and a printed off scale side piece, side printout of the uh, TIE Fighter. And I kind of inverted the colors and, uh, like I said, scaled it down to the size that I wanted. And then I just kind of cut it out, cut out the center pieces on the scroll saw. And then I went and cut matching size sides out of quarter inch MDF. And I was going to sandwich the MDF with the 16th inch panels that I'd cut out on the scroll saw to make the actual sides of the TIE Fighter once I was done. And when I painted them different colors, it would end up looking really neat. So here I am uh, sandwiching the uh, MDF and the plywood together, which was uh, kind of an interesting glue up. So uh, just spreading out the glue here and making sure that one edge matched. I had one edge on the plywood that was flat on all four pieces so that was the edge that I matched up and then I matched up one corner and flattened that up using the table saw as the matching edge tightened down one clamp and put clamps all the way around it. I used a lot of clamps on this one so that was, uh, that was kind of fun and I did the second one just the same I just didn't bother showing that on video then I cut multiple three-quarter inch pieces of, uh, I'm sorry, MDF, and ended up gluing these together to make a blank that I could turn on the lathe for the centerpiece. And here I am gluing these pieces together. And this is just making a uh, uh, a large blank that would actually make the the centerpiece of the Tie Fighter. Shortly after this that I kind of realized MDF does not soak in as much glue as I was expecting it to. Um, I layered on a good amount of glue on here and I was expecting MDF to really soak it up, but it didn't. It actually spewed up, spewed it out like crazy and it made a big old mess. So uh, I reached out, grabbed some uh, wax paper to get what was really dripping really fast and then I had to clean up a bunch and then I had to clean up uh, even quite a bit off of my table saw which I tend to do quite often I really need to build a workbench at some point so then I started turning on the lathe and uh, this turning didn't take too terribly long and I was using the uh, Easy Wood Tools carbide cutter and I love that thing. That, that cuts right through just about anything that I throw at it. And uh, this is the first time I've ever turned MDF. Uh, I was rather surprised how smooth it, it turned. It had no problem whatsoever. And I was not surprised as to how much dust it was creating. Uh, as you can see as, as it jumped here, uh, I've got a nice pile of dust. And this is actually after I would vacuumed, I think, twice now. Uh, it was... There was dust all over the place. <laughs> it was actually about the dustiest turning I have ever done. And uh, that was kind of crazy. There was a lot of dust. And with this, I just I turned this down using two tools. I used the round nosed Easy Wood tools. And I used the flat tool to do the tenons on the end. At the drill press, I used a clamp to hold my turning in place to uh, drill out the hole for the clock insert. At the table saw, I caught, cut all five of the other sides on both the other two blanks with my tapering sled. And 
And then at the drill press, I drilled a three quarter inch hole in the center about halfway through. This is for the tenons to fit from the, uh, the center turning. Applying a pretty good amount of glue to these tenons, being that this is really all that's going to be holding that together, and I'm afraid that if anybody puts any pressure on those outer wings, they may end up uh, snapping apart. And the one thing I was wanting to make sure of is that the wings stay flat and parallel to one another. So once I got it somewhat tight, I put them to the edge of my table saw and went and got two parallel clamps and clamped it to the the bed of my router table there. This way the wings stayed in place parallel to one another. This is really fun to do. Um, I, I'm done with it now, but uh, I did most of the painting actually while I was at the hospital. Uh, you can see in a picture here. Uh, I didn't do any of the video recording while I was in the hospital because uh, I had a you know a baby sitting there sleeping, so I was trying to be really quiet. My wife did take a picture of me uh, doing some of the fine painting on the uh, the details there. Uh, I basically had one day to that we'd come down and uh, spent a day here at the house to kind of get some things straightened out and. I spent a couple hours in the shop to do all the woodwork here and got started on the painting and then I basically packed everything up and went up to the hospital and I, I did all the finished work while I was up there. Uh, but I was really happy with the outcome of this. This thing came out really, really cool. Uh, one thing you may notice, the clock is not ticking and that's because uh, I went through all of my supply of uh, clock inserts and every single one of them has a dead battery. So I need to get a battery at some point whenever I get to the store to buy some batteries. But uh, this thing came out really cool. I definitely want to approach this at some point with uh, real wood. I'll probably end up doing it out of oak because that'll respond really well to an iron acetate solution and I could probably get it either a gray or a uh, black and I think that would look really neat. So I might do that at some point. I probably won't record a video on it being that I already did the video on this one but uh, I think it would look pretty neat and I'll probably post it on Instagram or Facebook whenever I do make that. But uh, let me know in the comments what you all think of this. Uh, this was really fun to make, uh, and uh, I, I hope you all enjoyed it. And if this is the first time you've come across my videos, uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. And I've got quite a few more that I've already posted. Check those out. And I've got a whole lot more to come. So subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope you really have a great day, and God bless.